Hi, today we are in the forest and I thought I'd share with you some really quick, easy stretches for your hands because our hands do so much for us, but do we give them the amount of love that they need? So the first thing that we're going to do is just turn the palm up towards the sky or toward the ceiling and you're going to take your pinky finger and you're going to let the pinky finger just stretch down toward the floor. And then you're going to take your ring finger and you're going to take that ring finger and lengthen it down getting a nice stretch. You want to keep the palm up as we do this. And then the, we're at the middle finger. Give that a nice stretch. And as you're doing this, try to keep your thumb stretched out to the side as well. All the tension in your palm of your hand will pull your thumb in. So keep that thumb pulled out. And then the index finger. Stretch it down. And then we switch sides. Take that pinky finger, bring it down. And if you've never really done this before, you might notice that as you're stretching your fingers, there's only just a little bit of movement. And then that means you want to do this a lot then. And even if you've got more movement like I do in my hand, it still feels good. I still need this stretch and my hands are happier this way. Good. I can't take on this too. I know, I know those mosquitoes. So the index finger and your thumb keeps stretching out to the side. There we go. Now the next thing we do is bring the palm facing down, the fingertips still forward. So you're going to grab a hold of your pinky, try to keep your knuckles straight, and you pull your thumb down toward your forearm, whether or not the hand actually, or the thumb actually, or the finger actually touches. And then the next finger. And as you start to get a little bit closer toward the middle finger and the index finger, you might find that the Mama, tension in your hand starts Mama, to turn. And, you tear and, I was holding it over and then you go to your hand. next hand. You uh, held a caterpillar in your hand? It's beautiful. It and so now we're at the middle finger. And keep the hands pointing forward. So what I was trying to say is you try to, the hands you might notice start to go this way. So you want to keep those fingers pointing forward. Now switch pinky finger to the forearm and then your other finger and then the index finger or the middle finger and then the index finger good so this feels so great across the top of my hands my favorite is when I get to that index finger you can feel all that correlating tension opening up the fascia that connective tissue from the arms to the shoulders now the next thing that we're going to do is take your palms, so the back of the hands are going to face, we're going to turn them inside out like this, so bring, or even you can just do this, the back of the hands like so, thumb stretching out, and you want to glue the back of your hands to the wrist together. And then once you have that glued together, you're going to start to bring the hands down. And you're only going to bring the hands as far down as you can until you're at that place where the wrists and the back of the hands want to come apart. So here you don't let them come apart. You just breathe, relax the shoulders as much as you can, and those thumbs stretch them out. Good. We'll do another big deep breath here. <laughs> and then release. Good. So I hope those stretches help your hands. Uh, good for swatting those mosquitoes. Hope you have a great day. Bye.